What's up internet? Corey Zamier here, back with the weirdest weekly vlog of all time. Or at least the weirdest one for me. So, I'm filming this on Wednesday, October 11th. If all goes as planned, you're going to be viewing this Wednesday, October 11th. Uh, it's going to be a shorter episode because I just need to do a little bit of a channel update and where I'm at with life right now. Uh, right now I'm in my kitchen making lunch slash breakfast, brunch if you will. And I realized that last week I filmed some vlog clips and it's all boring as fuck. Like I literally just like rambled at the camera about work. Stuff that no one would really care about for probably 10 minutes straight. And it's just, it's not worth your time. Like, I was about to fall asleep trying to edit it. It's... But the thing is, lately I've been noticing I've had less time to edit videos. And we're heading into the winter months while well, it's fall now. But it's going to be winter. And I think I'm going to be taking a little bit of a break from regular posting. Um, like I've said in previous videos, Weekend Adventure is going to be on a little bit of a hiatus as soon as we do head into the winter months, because it doesn't really make sense to just go to game stores and try and spend a ton of money to get games for the collection. The idea has always been to get them at a cheap price, thrift stores, flea markets, garage sales, you know. You'll still see some videos, obviously, I will still try my best to get a video out every Saturday, whether it be thrift store, uh, thrifting in Connecticut, a little bit of a game review. I've been playing more games lately. Uh, a few games I've been playing lately, Professor Layton in the Curious Village. And that game has helped me determine that as I'm getting older, I'm also getting dumber, much dumber. Because I remember being able to get through like the first like 15 puzzles on that game when it first, well, not when it first came out, but when I first got it, and it not being an issue. Last night, I'm sitting there with the, the chick in the wolf puzzle. It's like puzzle seven, and I'm just like, this, this is impossible. I'm just sitting there, I was like, this is impossible. <laughs> I'm just like, I am fucking stupid. I can't figure it out. And I'm just like, all right, well, my idea of playing through the Professor Layton games out the fucking window if I can't get through puzzle seven, fuck that. <laughs> And I don't want to like look up the inter look up the answers on the internet because that's what's the fucking point of playing a puzzle game if you're just gonna cheat every fucking time, you know? So, like, in the story of Professor Layton isn't something that I'm just like, oh yeah, it's just thrill, you know, and thrilling, thrilling. I really am getting dumber. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm making up words right now. <laughs> um, also played a little bit of uh, Metal Slug Seven game I have on the 3DS that I got. Last year? This year? Might have been last year on Black Friday. I got it a while ago and hadn't tried it out. I've played some Metal Slug games in the past. I think I'm, I'm like an arcade cabinet or something. And they're interesting, but it literally just makes me want to play Contra instead. I like Contra a lot more. And then I looked up how much the game was worth and I was just like, oh my god. Like, complete like I have it, it's like a $40 game. Why am I going to hold on to a $40 game that I don't enjoy playing? So, I'm going to sell that. Uh, and that's basically what me playing games lately has led to. It's just like, if I like it, awesome. I have an opinion on it, I'm keeping it. I like this, like the Metroid Prime Pinball. Enjoy that game. One of my favorite handheld pinball games. And then the games that I don't like, it's just like, sure, I could put them, like, a low rating in my app, and then put them back on my shelf, but then it's just like, what, what's the fucking point? If I don't like it, I'm not going to play it again. It's just going to take up shelf space and just pad out my collection with games I don't like and don't want to play. And that doesn't really make sense to me. Like, especially for systems that I'm not looking to have, like, a ton of games for. Like, for instance, I don't have any aspirations of having a complete DS or 3DS collection. I do want to get as many NES games as I can, because I like the idea of eventually 
maybe once, you know, the NES crash or maybe the retro gaming crash happens, I can actually pick up some of the more expensive titles and have a pretty good NES collection, but I don't know. And right now I can't even really walk into the game room and show you anything. Because that light is the only light that's in there. Actually, I can open up the, the shade. Let me open up the shade. And the thing is, we also have been storing random shit in here. And yeah, the game room's a fucking mess. But, yeah. Natural light. Natural light that sucks ass. Oh my god. Alright. Can I get a tripod so I don't have to hold this shit? There we go. There we go. Give my arm a rest. Oh my god, the light. Yeah. So that's basically where I'm at. I took a whole bunch of games with me camping. That was actually one of the things that was in the vlog that was interesting. I literally like emptied out half my DS game cases and brought them camping with me. And I had time to play <laughs> one game, and that was Professor Lean. So get to put all those games back. Um, yeah. Game room is a mess. Haven't put stuff away. I do have two pickup videos, basically, that I do have to show you. I do have a thrifting in Connecticut that should be coming out soon. But given that I've waited this long to post it or edit it, I might just save it for after Retro World Expo uh, for the weekend adventure for that video. So that might be the next Saturday. And I do have a pickup from my friend Ted, which I'll probably drop at some point when I get around to editing it. But... Like I said, this light is out. And we don't have any bulbs to replace it with right now. And I do actually want to get a different fluorescent light for like the wall for this room. Like I used to have in my at my mother's house. Because it was it was so nice for lighting. And this one is just absolute absolute fucking garbage. The videos in here, in my opinion, look like trash. And I actually don't like recording videos in here because of that and that sucks because it's the game room you know it should be like my favorite place to record videos you know and it's just like because of the lighting it's always a pain in the ass but yeah got those two videos queued up for eventually o'clock and i'm going to be taking a little bit of a break like i let me know in the comments below like would you rather the vlog just come out whenever like it's about to come out today or do you like that like Sunday schedule because it's just like I really with the way things have been going lately like this is the first um the second sun or second Wednesday that I haven't had to work in the morning and this is my first time working an evening shift in a while and I don't like it <laughs> it just leads me to be really lazy in the morning like I don't even want to do anything before I have to go to work because I'm used to not having the time to do it but now that I have the time to do it I'm just like oh but then I have to go to work and it's just I'm a procrastinating motherfucker you know yeah I'm just kind of rambling uh, one thing cool thing I could show you we went camping this weekend and I finally got my certificate from fantasy football from I think awarded this day first day of January in the year 2017 so this was actually from last season the hindsight is 2020 certificate of suckage awarded to Corey Zamir for having the draft most destroyed by injuries and duds that were supposed to be studs I'm proud of that accomplishment. And luckily, this year I've bounced back. I have the best record in the league. I'm currently four and one. And Leonard Fournette is a beast. But I digress. My food should be getting ready soon, so let's close up this window. So I don't sun fade my games if I forget to do it. It's the main concern we have. And on this vlog so I could actually get it posted today. Do a little quick editing job. And 
shit, I got seven and a half minutes left for my food? What the fuck? I felt like I was in there forever. I guess, seeing as I've only been vlogging for about 10 minutes, that makes sense. But, that's gonna do it for this weekly vlog. Let me know how you're doing, how you're dealing with not having as much time to do everything you wanna do. Like I said, we've been, like I've just been doing so much. It feels like I've been doing so much lately, like being an adult. And now this working on Wednesdays is just fucking me up because I'm, I don't want to do anything before work, you know? <sighs> but I'm going to because I want to get this vlog up. So like the video, subscribe if you're new, and as always, keep it real internet. I love you guys.